So in this video, I'm going to show you what I'm using as a solution for isolating my studio monitors from my desk. Back in the end of 2019, I did some DIY acoustic treatment with DIY bass traps and a cloud and basically made my mixing space a lot more neutral. I posted a photo of it up on one of the Slate audio groups on Facebook and somebody replied to me saying that the one thing that I was missing was some monitor isolation. They recommended a product called Isopuck from Isoacoustics. So I went and had a look at the Isopucks and I found that they were pretty expensive. For two Isopucks, it costs £39, four ninety nine delivery. You're going to need, bare minimum, six, uh, more likely eight. So it's going to cost you £160 to get eight of them. And then delivery to here anyway, it's going to cost another £20. Or alternatively, what you can do is you can go to Decathlon and you can buy a pleather, like a PU leather covered foam hockey puck, which costs one ninety nine. You can get eight of those for £16 and they'll sit perfectly underneath your speakers. My speakers are the Focal Alpha 80s, which weigh nearly 13 kilos each. And currently they've been sitting on top of these foam hockey pucks for just over a year. So uh, they haven't deformed at all. They've kept their shape. They isolate way better than the overpriced foam wedges that you can buy. They probably do just as good a job as the insanely priced ISO pucks. So yeah, if you're looking for a budget solution to monitor isolation that can handle a decent amount of weight for Focal Alpha 80s, I tried the kind of monitor foam wedges that you can buy. Can't remember the brand name, but they were absolutely useless for these monitors because the monitors were way too heavy for the foam. I think the combination of the PU leather and the actual foam that's in them is quite dense. It really does a great job. You can pick these up in a sports store in the UK. It's Decathlon and probably internationally it's even easier in the likes of Canada. Hockey's popular and I'm sure you can get them in, in America as well. So yeah, just wanted to make this quick video to kind of show people what I'm using for monitor isolation and how effective it actually is and inexpensive. And you don't have to pay through the nose for very overpriced stuff that's targeted at audio engineers. Happy New Year. Cheers.